Hello everyone. Up next in our Power Automate tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to automatically remove pages from a PDF document using the Cloudmersive PDF connector. I'm going to demonstrate this connector with an instant cloud flow, and when we're done, you can easily use the same logic to create an automated flow that targets a specific folder where standardized PDF files are saved. Let's begin. Starting with the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow. After that, give your flow a name, select the option to trigger manually, and click Create at the bottom to move on to the Flow Design page. Let's start by getting our test file. Type Get File Content into the Operations search bar and select the action which represents the application your file is stored in. I'm using SharePoint, so if that's you as well, click on the SharePoint action below and define your site address right after. Following that, click on the folder icon to navigate the folder path until you find your file. Select it, and the file identifier will populate. When you're ready, click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Below, you should see a list of Cloudmersive connectors with differing colored logos. Select the PDF connector with the pinkish purple logo, and when you reach the Actions list, search for Remove Delete Pages from a PDF Document and click that option. Around this stage, you'll be asked to include your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate the use of this connector. To get a key, visit our website, cloudmersive.com, and register a free account. Your key will allow up to 800 API calls per month, and you'll be able to use it to access any other Cloudmersive connector. Now it's time to define the connector action parameters. First, click on the input file bar at the top and select file content from the dynamic content window. Right after that, copy the file ID from the previous step and paste it into the second parameter. The following two parameters are where you'll specify which page to start deleting and which page to end on. Keep in mind, each page you enter in this range will be deleted, so you should make sure to double check before moving forward. Once those page numbers are settled, you're ready to move on to the final step in the flow. Click New Step again. In this final step, we're going to tell Power Automate what to do with the output content from the operation. There are many steps you can take here, but I recommend updating the file using a standard update file action. If you're using SharePoint, once again, select that option to define your site address within the action parameters. After that, use the folder icon once again to navigate to the exact file that you used in the first step. Below that, click on the file content search bar and select output content from the dynamic content window. Altogether, this action will literally just update your file with however many pages missing that you wanted. Now you can save and test the flow to make sure it works. Click Save at the bottom of the page and then click Test in the upper right corner. Select the option to manually trigger your flow and then click Test at the bottom followed by Continue and Run Flow. The flow should run pretty quickly and once it does, you should see green check marks in the upper corner of each operation in the flow to indicate that the test ran smoothly. Any errors will instead be logged immediately on the right side of the page for easy reference. To complete the test, quickly head over to your file and make sure the document was updated. I know mine worked because it's missing the two pages I asked to delete. And now you're all done, easy as can be. That concludes this video. Stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.